Uh, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be getting started with MATLAB and uh, the get familiar with the MATLAB environment first. And in the subsequent videos, we'll be seeing that how to program uh, with MATLAB. So here, here I have opened the MATLAB window, so we can download and install. Uh, so I have 20,000, 2021 uh, version. Uh, you can have uh, later um, older version or the latest version, but the basic things will remain same. So when you just open a MATLAB, then what are the things available here in the MATLAB later? So first you can see in the offer there is three tabs, one is home, one is cloud, one is app. So basically I am going to uh, do all my things today video on the home tab and I am going to tell all one and all. So here uh, the new script is there if you want to write a new code editor then you can click on it here. And there are different different uh, things that they so here if I click new, it can give me what I do. I want to write a script, I want to like it or function. So all these things are there. And uh, this is one window in the basic default or matrix to open. This part is one window here. Next one window here, if you can see this is written, some folders are there. So you can see add untitled. So some folders are there. So what are these folders? Basically, whenever you are opening MATLAB, so it needs a working directory. So by default, if you open the MATLAB, you can see this is the working directory. That means in the by default, it is in the C program, in the C drive, in users. Then it's actually in your C drive in the program file. And inside the document, all these files are there. So if I show you, if I go to my system and uh, go to C so here documents, if I go. So here inside that, there will be a MATLAB folder and inside this, all these things are there. Okay, so basically this is your working directory and you can change it also, it's not a fixed one. So you can uh, just go to this one and wherever you want. So let me, I want in desktop. So I can just select it and now see the working directory will become desktop and all the files in the desktop it will show you. Though I don't need this, but it will just show. So uh, let me just be in the default directory. So I'll be there and here I can delete those files also. If it's also possible, this is just fine. Now, this is our directory, and this is the directory path, and this is the directory content detail. Now, this is called as the command window. You can see it is written here. It is called as the command window. So, this command window uh, is basically where you see the outputs of your uh, program. So, whatever uh, values you output, you will see in the command window. So, uh, for example, if I write 3 plus 5, okay. So if I just write C plus I, it will give me the answer as 8. So basically this command window will be used to see the output. And there are some other uses also, we will see one by one. So this is called as the command window, generally we see the output. So next is, this is called as the workspace. Here you can see, so this is called as the workspace. So workspace basically stores all the variables and its corresponding values here. So for example, you can see I have just written 3 plus 5 here and then it just calculated the value and displayed 8 but by default max is storing this value in a variable name as ans or answer and here it is stored that way and this uh, workspace you can just click and down also if you want it uh, to be here so you can keep it one is command window one is workspace so if you want you can click below also just drag it it will come so you are convenient that if you want to see the variables answer in one place then you can see next workspace you can drag here it show it here current folder and workspace one like this or else you can drag down so here it will be so it's just your choice what you want to do so basically i always uh, keep it here and i make it little small because the variable names are not going to be very large so that's how i do it so it's just your choice you can do it Next, there are so many things that there. One will be used and be explaining all this. Uh, in this video, that's it about the uh, working environment of the MATLAB. In next video, we'll be in some basic program and commands. So let's uh, see the next video to how to write a program in a MATLAB.